Hi, welcome to the library. My name is Paul Courant and I am the University Librarian and Dean of Libraries and I'm here to welcome you to the library. And you're thinking, oh God, some guy wearing a tie welcoming me to the library. Libraries are very boring places. They're the places where people keep all the books. And that's true. We have the books here. We have about eight million books that are owned by this library and that you are welcome to come look at in this building and the other library buildings. But what we really have is much more interesting than all the books. What we really have is a record that allows you to find out easily, quickly, reliably, pretty much whether anybody has thought seriously about whatever subject you might be interested in and what they thought had to say or what they thought about whatever that topic might be. The provenance of the works that are in the library, whether they be digital or, or microfilm or print or whatever they might be, the provenance of those works is well established uh, and, and reliably replicable over and over again. And oh, by the way, librarians who one imagines are you know, wearing glasses that are on little things around their neck and going, shh. Uh, what librarians are really good at is stitching together all of these sources of information on whatever the topic is that, uh, that you might be working on. It's extraordinary. You go to the reference desk with some vague question and you come back, you come out of there with half a dozen things to read. Some of them will be online, some of them you have to go into the stacks to find. Um, it all depends. The other thing that's going on in this library, the place where all the books are, is there's a revolution in the way in which we store and distribute information. So where just a few years ago, really the only way to find the information was going to be in the books and in the magazines and journal articles, and you went to a catalog that had carefully described each of those works in sort of short language, so what the topic was, when it was written, some other bits of information. Now, for a great deal of information, you can search the entire text of the works, again, online or on a computer, and the, and the search will come back and tell you where, where the things you're looking for are, what books they're in, what journals they're in, and sometimes you'll be able to find them in turn online, sometimes due to the vagaries of copyright law and other issues, you'll still have to go into the stacks and actually get out the book uh, and read it, it, it's actually not nearly as bad as it sounds. But over time, the library will have more and more of its collections available in ways where not only can you search for them and find them and figure out what you want to do online, but you can actually do the reading online as well. And so the library becomes not just where the books are, but where the reliable, replicable, authoritative, reusable, rippable, mixable, and burnable information is on pretty much any topic that you can imagine. That's what we do here, so come visit us, and if you don't want to visit us in person, visit us online, www.lib.umich.edu. And remember, for a good time, come to the library.